I've seen anti-gay arguments for the past 30 years. I've gotten to know them pretty well. When someone says things like, you know, to the, even to the extreme of being gay is not okay, or hate the, the sin, love the sinner, and that sort of thing. Yeah, that's, that's anti-gay. Sorry, there, there's really no getting around that. That is a hatred of gay people. Oh, but, but I don't hate gay people. I just think they need to change their lifestyle. It's not a choice. It's not being gay is not a lifestyle. Now, if you're talking about uh, promiscuity, sure, that's a lifestyle. But that's not what being gay is. Being gay doesn't mean promiscuity. Now, I've talked about promiscuity in the gay community before. And, you know, maybe I'll leave a link to, to a video about that in the description bar. But that's not what being gay is. That's not what being part of the LGBT community means. Because there are plenty of straight people who are very promiscuous as well. And I don't hear you preaching against them. I don't hear you saying, oh, uh, hate the sinner. I mean, hate the sin, love the sinner. I, I, don't, I don't see you saying that. That's because people like to, religious people like to pick and choose what parts of the Bible they like to follow. They especially like to use Leviticus, the book of Leviticus, to judge gay people and then forget about the things about shellfish and children talking back and mixed fibers and, and that sort of thing, right? Now, there are some things that have changed within LGBT activism. Instead of being about rights, it's now about making sure we teach children about LGBT. You know, and it's something that, that in the 90s, we used to say, no, no, it's, it's definitely not about recruiting. It's definitely not about trying to, to teach this stuff to children. But, but lately it is. And suddenly we're saying, oh, well, what's wrong with, with teaching children about diversity? And it's just like, well, it's, it's, it's not just about that. I mean, I've, I've seen, you know, there's videos of, of, of teaching kids how to twerk. There have been some drag queens that have wanted to read stories in a library to children. And we come to find out that some of them are uh, predators. And they get to have children kind of oogling over them because of, of the, the act that they put up with, yeah, as a drag queen. You know, I, I can see why people are getting pissed off. I can see why there are some elements to a support of LGBT waning a bit. Okay, I, I get it. But when we have these straight pride rallies that are that aren't really about straight pride, they're about they're essentially anti LGBT uh, pride. You know, you're proud that you're against LGBT. That's what they are essentially about. Someone saying being gay is not okay. Yeah, that's that is an anti gay position. But but it's not hateful. Yes, it is. How can you claim that saying being gay is not okay is not hateful? That'd be like, that's, that's like someone saying, oh, I'm not racist. I'm not racist. I don't have a racist bone in my body, but, but I think black people are inferior, but, but I'm not racist. I mean, it's the same type of argumentation being used. Okay. I've seen anti-gay arguments for 30 years. I came out when I was 17. I'm 46 now. Okay, I've seen this shit. It saddens me that over the past couple years, especially since the Trump administration, this stuff has to, to come back up and we have to explain this stuff all over again. Now, I'm not going to fully blame this on Trump. Trump is, I mean, there's some, some bit to blame on Trump, but Trump is a symptom and a cause. If our society wouldn't have been where it is now, Trump wouldn't have gotten elected. So, you know, I, I understand that, but it just really saddens me that we're at this point again where I have to explain why someone stating being gay is not okay is hateful. You know, I really thought we were past that. I really did. But with things drifting to the right, with society drifting to the right, they're now looking at 
religious values and religious ideology as not being as extreme as it is. It's sad that the left has gotten to the point where people on the right aren't viewed as extreme. It saddens me that so many people that are on the left can't see this. They can't see that they've drifted really far left. They think that they're pushing the same values they were in the 90s, and, and they're not. But let me make it clear. If you're pushing this notion that being gay is a choice, you're anti-gay. People didn't just wake up one day and say, hey, I think I want to be gay. It's not like that. Sure, there's an, there's an argument to be made about whether it's nature versus nurture, or a combination of both, or whatever. There's Yeah, people can talk about that. But that doesn't mean it's some sort of conscious choice. Okay, that, that much is certain. So out of these 30 or so years that I've seen anti-gay arguments being made, especially by religious people, then it's not unreasonable to assume that when some religious people get together and start talking about God and immorality, and start referring to gay people as sinful, and that they have a, they've made a lifestyle choice by being gay, and that being gay is not okay, yeah, that's, that's anti-gay. That is hateful against gay people. It doesn't matter how many times someone repeats, I don't hate gay people, if it's followed up by, I just think they're sinful. And I think they should change their lifestyle. If it's followed up by that, sorry, you're hateful against gay people. I know your religion doesn't allow you to break apart your own religion. But the rest of us who are outside of it can see it for what it is. Just saying.